Okay, we're fine. Right. Hi hey everyone, it's me, Pearl Mudiadie. I am going to be reading for you today. Welcome to the book club. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, all of you great R's to great threes. I'm glad you're doing something very useful with your time during this lockdown. We're gonna read from a book, um, the passage about a dog. Uh, it's written by Tai Tuyomi and um, um, hopefully they also send you guys these reading materials because they are great illustrations to look at as well. I'm gonna start now. I hope you follow and I hope you enjoy the story because I enjoyed it when I read it earlier. Here it goes. When the dog was young, the dog was a wild thing. He spent his days wandering the land alone. At night, he lay his head on his fuzzy paws and kept guard over his cave. Nobandu, the first woman, lived in a small hut near dog's cave. One evening, as she walked home, Nobandi saw dog with head on his fuzzy paws, with his head on his fuzzy paws, sleeping with one eye open, and she felt sorry for him. I wonder what I can do to help dog, she thought. He looks so lonely. As Nobandu thought about a plan, dog woke up and barked at her. Dog, she called out. You are an excellent guard. Yes, dog growled. I'm the best guard in the whole bush felt. My ears are so good that I can hear the smallest noise. My eyes can see in the dark and I always sleep with one eye open. Amazing, said Nobandu. Could you please teach me how to be a good guard? Come to my heart tomorrow at sunset. If you do, I'll give you a hot meal to eat. Dog had never eaten a hot meal before, but it sounded really good. At sunset the following day, Dog came wandering through the bush felt towards Nobantu's hut. He greeted her and growled. Now you must watch what I do. I'll teach you how to be a good god. Then Dog lay outside Nobantu's hut with his head on his fuzzy paws, he fell asleep with one eye open. That night, he chased away a few wild animals. In the morning, Nobantu brought him a hot meal in an old tin bowl, or bowl rather. Here you go, said Nobantu. Dog gobbled up the meal. Did I teach you how to be a good god, he barked. I think I've nearly got it, answered Nobandu with a smile. But maybe you could show me a game tonight. If you do, I'll give you a hot meal and I'll make a little bed for you to sleep on. Dog licked his lips. The hot meal had been so delicious and he'd never slept on a little bed before. At sunset, Dog came wandering through the bush felt towards Nobandu's hut. Just as she had promised, there was a little bed waiting for him. It was soft and comfortable, much more comfortable than a cave floor. And Dog fell asleep immediately with one eye open. Let's go to the next page. I think my phone is enjoying the story a lot because it's now frozen. Oh, here we go. We've got it. That night, he chased away a few wild animals. In the morning, Nobantu brought him a hot meal in an old bowl. Here you go, said Nobantu. Oh no, am I repeating it again? Hold on. Oh, there we go, there we go. I'm not repeating it again. The story is getting juicier, actually. That night, he chased away a few wild animals. In the morning, Nobantu brought him a hot meal in an old tin bowl. Here you go, said Nobantu. Dog gobbled up the meal again. Did I teach you how to be a good god? He barked. 
I think I've nearly got it, answered Nobantu with a smile. But maybe you could show me again tonight. If you do, I'll give you a hot meal. You can sleep on the little bed again and I'll scratch your back. Dog licked his lips. The hot meal had been delicious and the little bed was comfortable, much more comfortable than a cave floor. And he'd never had anyone scratch his back before. At sunset, Dog came wandering through the bush belt towards Nobandu's hut. He lay down on the little bed. Nobandu sat next to him and scratched his back. What a wonderful feeling. Dog barked with happiness, then fell asleep on the little bed with one eye open. That night, he chased away a few wild animals. In the morning, Nobantu brought him a hot meal in an old tin bowl. Dog once again gobbled up the meal. You know, Nobantu, Dog barked, for three nights in a row, I've tried my best to teach you how to be a good god. But you don't seem to get it at all. I don't think you'll ever learn how to do it. I won't? asked Nobantu with a smile. No, I don't think so, answered Dog. The problem is that you sleep inside. You and your ears are too small and you can't see in the dark. So I have a better idea. Instead of me teaching you how to be a good God, I could just guard the heart for you. In return, you can feed me, give me a bed to sleep and scratch my back. And what about playing? Asked Nobantu. Playing? Frowned Dog. Nobantu showed Dog how to play with a stick. It was wonderful. When they were done, they agreed that Dog would stay and be Nobandu's guard dog. As the sun set that night, Dog fell asleep on his little bed with a smile on his face and with both eyes closed. And that is how he and his children and their children's children come to live with people. And that's why dogs are no longer wild things that wander the bush belt and sleep in caves all alone. And that is the story. I hope you all enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Did you, if you enjoyed it, just give me a thumbs up. I can see all of you. I can't hear you. Can I see a thumbs up if you enjoyed it? I'm seeing a lot of thumbs up. I really hope you enjoyed the story of the dog. Are you so all smiling? Yes. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm seeing those happy faces and those big thumbs up. We'll catch up again soon next week, okay? Enjoy your weekend. Bye. <laughs>